you mad. Hi, so it's a 36 volt, 800 watt wooden go kart. So I'm going to pull it out now into the middle of a room and I'm going to start measuring my steering rods. <laughs> Get his back legs. Chicken legs. <laughs> oh, he's dragging himself along. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> photo bombing me again <laughs> anyway I'm going to pull out into the middle of a room and start measuring my steering rods and I'm going to cut them and try and get them fitted today and then I've just got the steering wheel to make like I said on my last video, my update video I want to get it done before the end of October ok catch up in a bit ok so I've sat on it measured the steering rod this is the outer rod, so two measurements are, this is going to be the top of the inner rod and this is going to be the top of the outer rod, or tube, whatever you want to call it. Here he is again. Right, I've measured the steering rod, got it in position, I've cut this outer piece, as you can see there where it's cut, this is the inner rod. It's going to be cut there. Right, I've tightened this bolt going through the bottom of the steering rod. I've put a spacer on. Now, it's a funny shape because the wood split. I've just put duct tape on and cable ties. It's only a spacer. Right, as you can see there, there's the steering rod coming through with the spacer. This is the outer now. It comes up to there. I've marked it. And this is a steering rod, so I've got that much space to play with. Right, that's the steering rod fitted. Now, I've just got to glue the outer in place, but this is it, as you can see here. You can see it moving at the bottom. It's got a little bit of play, but when the outer's glued in, it'll be okay. You want a bit of play anyway. So that's it. The dog's followed me around all over today. Don't know what's up with him. He's been walks. I don't know what's up. Right, gonna have a break for a bit now and get a broom. Okay, I fitted this support that supports the outer rod. Fitted it there like that. Took this side off. Gonna glue it in place. That's what it looks like inside. Okay. Right, I've started work on my steering wheel. This is just the middle bit. Still got a few bits to do. But if you see, I'll turn this and down here. It turns at the bottom. So, lined up the best I can. And yeah, that's it. This side, the remote's gonna go on it. That controls for motor. And the other side is just gonna be a hand piece. So, it's gonna be a H shape. And yeah, that's it. We're going to have a break for a bit now. I've been out for ages. Okay, this piece is screwed in. Screw there, screw there. Going into my main beam. I'll do that on the other side. It'll hold it really firm. But it sits in the recess there. Going to glue it in. And I can screw this back on and leave it to set. Okay, let's do it. Right, that's the outer steering rod glued in, it's really firm and I've glued all the inside and glued these pieces together so I'll put screws in this side, countersunk Right, time to tidy up now, I've made a bit of a mess I'll show you in a bit what it looks like Right, I've got to let this glue dry on the outer steering rod so that's all fixed in place now. I'm going to do the steering wheel tomorrow. As you've seen, I've cut a piece for it. So the piece is ready. Two other pieces attach the steering rod to the wheels and the front end. It's 20 to 6. The sun's going to set soon. So can't be doing any more drilling or banging our noise. Living a flat. So. Okay, thanks for watching. 
You've been watching the 36 volt 800 watt electric wooden gold cart build. Okay, bye.